looking back on that day, uh, I, I recall being really uh, nervous, uh, not knowing what kind of a decision we were going to get. Uh, and uh, we went into the, this room and we were waiting for the decision to come out, uh, grab copies of it, go into the room and take a look. Uh, it was a real frenzy, the lawyers uh, uh, pouring over it. And then to gradually understand, I mean, or gradually <laughs> quickly understand that we had won uh, on every count. Um, that was such a relief. I mean, just an absolute relief. Uh, and uh, then the day became one of trepidation, one of sheer joy uh, to be able to celebrate uh, uh, in the lobby of the Supreme Court uh, was great. But then when we all went to the hotel and, and everybody was uh, cheering and uh, we were all talking about how important this decision was for all of us. Uh, uh, that was uh, a remarkable day. Certainly never, ever forget it. Steve was a very uh, shy man in, in, in many, many ways. Uh, as tough as nails, but uh, still very much a shy man. Uh, very much a family man. Uh, and his, uh, his family uh, really went through hell. Uh, because of all of the pressures of, you know, going to court and the more we went to court and the longer this dragged out in the appeals and so on, I think the more it, it, uh, it uh, dawned on Peter, uh, Steve and his family, how much rested on the decision uh, of his case, how much that really was going to impact the whole of the Métis nation that all Métis people were going to be affected. And that really, uh, that, that, that was a lot of pressure on Steve and a lot of pressure on his family. Uh, and he held up, but over the course of that period from the time he was charged to when we got to the Supreme Court 10 years later in September of 2003, Steve health, Steve's health had really, really deteriorated drastically uh, because of uh, diabetes and so on. And he lost both his legs, he was in a wheelchair. Um, and, uh, I, you know, Steve passed away just uh, the following February or March. Um, Steve hung in there. He, he, he knew how important this decision was. Uh, he, he fully realized uh, the legacy, one way or another, that was going to be bestowed on him, depending on what happened, what the outcome was. Uh, so I was really so proud of him and so happy to be with him to see how pleased he was. Um, you know, he, he knew how important this was for his family. He often talked about how important this was going to be not only for his uh, uh, son and his daughters and grandchildren, but also for all Métis people. The Métis throughout the whole of the Métis homeland are now benefiting uh, because of what was done. I think a feather in the cap of the Métis Nation of Ontario, uh, uh, that they did what they did um, to support Steve Powley. And Steve's the one who has to take all the credit for saying he wasn't going to back down. He was going to fight this case. He wasn't going to hide in the bush anymore uh, and uh, be charged and pay fines and go back out to hunt again. He was going to fight this. Uh, so we had the champion. Uh, and the Métis people and the Métis Nation of Ontario backed him. And all Métis people, all people of the Métis Nation throughout the homeland uh, are now the beneficiaries of that.
another really incredible thing about uh, the Pauli decision is how that has transformed uh, our relationship with Ontario. You know, when we got to court, we, we heard Ontario's position that there were no Métis in the province, that uh, if there were, uh, they don't exist anymore, or if there's communities here, there's no connection to what might have existed in the past, and uh, Métis never exercised rights uh, anyway. Uh, and if they did, they were extinguished. I mean, this whole denial of the very existence of a people in the province of Ontario, I mean, which all comes from those days of uh, uh, when Ontario was really south of the French River and it was ruled by uh, the Orangemen uh, who hated the French and hated the Catholics and by extension, Hated, hated the Métis, who they saw as French and Catholic. Uh, and uh, and that, that, what that had resulted in was systemic discrimination throughout the whole of Ontario's government against the Métis people. I mean, it was just awful. And then the, uh, the whole business of, uh, of um, uh, trying to charge our people, even though we had won in court and, and all of those other things. Uh, and it, 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 was, it was terrible. Uh, the whole relationship with Ontario was just awful. After the decision was, had come down, uh, and th this was a number of years after, and that's when they announced that they were going to recognize the Métis Nation of Ontario and were going to enter into a framework agreement with the Métis Nation of Ontario. That was hugely significant. Um, it was a great victory. There have been relationships dealt, uh, developed with the Ontario government, with the Métis Nation of Ontario. Um, we now have, uh, we're seeing greater access to funds than I ever thought possible at one time for healthcare and for students and for uh, uh, education, everything. Uh, it, it's, it's amazing. And that's, that's another one of those turnarounds, consequences, uh, the positive consequence of, of the Pauli decision. Uh, and it's not only the tangible things that come with it, it's how this is changing, I think, attitudes of people throughout the province generally towards Métis people and perhaps to First Nations as well. Uh, this has all been so positive. Uh, it's because of Steve Pally.